Uh, first of all, I want to thank the Hall of Fame committee for uh, bestowing this tremendous honor. Uh, it's something that I certainly never would have expected, but I gladly and humbly accept it. I also want to thank my parents uh, who are here tonight. For five years, they made the trek to Chicago from Cincinnati. Uh, never were they deterred by rain or snow or sleet or hostile fans in tough environments. Um, I started my final 40 games at Northwestern, and after every single one of them, I walked out and got to see my parents, and that type of dedication it is hard to express how much that meant to me uh, in my time here. I also want to thank my wife for being here. Now, she had nothing to do with my career at Northwestern, so <laughs> your thanks are limited here for just coming, but I do want to congratulate you. <laughs> Not for me, but this is my wife's first trip to Northwestern, and I want to... And I want to congratulate you on finally getting to see the greatest college in the world. So that's great. There's also one other person that I know is here with us tonight so that, that I want to thank. And that's my head coach, Randy Walker. Randy was taken from us far too soon. His wife, Tammy, and son, Jamie, sorry, Jamie, son, Jamie, are here with us tonight. And I know uh, in my heart that Randy is right there with him. Um, there's many people throughout my athletic career that, that meant a ton to me, that had lasting impacts on my career, not only as an athlete and a player, but also as a person. And outside of my parents, nobody more so than Randy. Four and a half years of my college football career sort of looked like this. Run, 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 lift, run, <laughs> get yelled at run a little bit more. And as a young player, uh, you, a lot of times you felt like that was kind of out of anger. You're like, man, Randy is a really rough guy. This guy is not happy very often. Um, and we didn't really like Randy, and Randy didn't seem to like us much either. But as I got older and I was able to assume more of a leadership role within our program, uh, Randy started kind of unraveling to me. He started to see that Randy was willing to sacrifice his own uh, reputation amongst the team to do what was best for us. And I knew or realized that in order to build a team that was tough and together, Randy sacrificed his own popularity. As I get to be here tonight, I realize nobody sacrificed more for us than Randy did. And as I get to stand here and be inducted into the Northwestern Hall of Fame, there's nobody that I wish was here more than Randy. Uh, he probably had a more profound impact on my football career than anyone, and I'll explain to you why. In New Orleans, I spent 12 years playing for the same coach, for the same quarterback. I signed five contracts in New Orleans. I opened a brewery. I met my wife, with whom I've had a son. I won a world, a world championship, a world series, nice. <laughs> I'm not, I can't hit a baseball to save my life, so <laughs> that didn't happen. Um, so what does Randy really have to do with that? Because that's in New Orleans. Before the draft, our head coach, Sean Payton, was going into his first year as an NFL head coach, and his first offensive coordinator job was with Randy Walker at Miami of Ohio. And he called Randy to ask him about our quarterback, Brett Bazinet who's the little guy that I caught in that video. <laughs> and as that call was ending and Sean was ready to leave, he said, wait, hold on one second. I got a tackle for you. And if those other guys can play in the NFL, this guy will play for you for 10 years. And so as the draft came and they got late into the draft, when they get to the seventh round of the draft, if there's any Bears fans in here or any other, they don't know who they're picking. They, they're throwing darts at a board. And it was simply Randy's recommendation of me that caused the Saints to draft me in the seventh round. And I asked Sean one time, well, why Randy's uh, recommendation? He said, it's easy. It was the first time I'd ever heard Randy compliment anybody. <laughs> so, so I figured he must be right. Turns out Randy was wrong. I played 12 years for Sean. 
and none of the success and life-altering events that have occurred since I went to New Orleans would have happened without Randy, and for that I'm truly thankful, and I'm really excited to have Tammy and Jamie here with us tonight. When I accepted my scholarship offer to Northwestern University, I did so thinking that getting the best degree possible made a lot of sense. After all, it's not like I was going to be playing professional football when I was done. So it turns out that life throws you some curveballs. At one point in my football career, I thought to myself, you know, this is going so well, that degree might not even make a difference in my life now. Fast forward to the end of my career, and I retire, and I go to uh, the local radio station, and our play-by-play -play guy, Jim Henderson, was retiring after 32 years. Very much like Dave. He's not retiring yet, but 30 years, right, Dave? So another iconic voice just like we have here at Northwestern. And I said, I really want to replace Jim Henderson. And they said, well, how much experience do you have? And I said, none. <laughs> and they said, okay, well, that's not going to work. <laughs> and we sat down and we talked about it. And they go, now, you did go to Northwestern, didn't you? And I was like, bingo. <laughs> it was totally worth it. That was great. <laughs> Good for me. Now. Disregard the fact I took no broadca broadcasting classes whatsoever at Northwestern, but what they don't know won't hurt them. <laughs> when people ask me if I like to hear, my response is always pretty similar. Northwestern is filled with great people who care about you. It's located on an idyllic campus close to one of the greatest cities in the world. It opens doors for you that you don't know exist. And I always ended it with, the facilities aren't the best, but the experience is. And I'm glad to see now that the facilities, like the experience, are world class. Thank you again to everybody involved in allowing me to be here. I want to congratulate all the other recipients. It's been an honor to be on the stage with you tonight. Thank you all, and go Cats.